the latest on that all out search for the escaped killers upstate New York. Police sifting through new clues right now. Intense focus on a gas station near the prison where the convicts may have gone looking for food. ABC's Gio Benitez is on the scene with the latest. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. We are now entering day seven of this search for the killers and still no clue where they are. Now investigators hope hunger makes them emerge. This morning, police are reportedly examining surveillance video from a mobile gas station less than a mile from the prison where the two escapees may have rummaged through the trash for food. The station, which also features a subway sandwich shop, opens at 4 a.m., around the time officials believe the convicted killers may have emerged from the manhole. This has new details about the investigation into whether prison employee Joyce Mitchell had a relationship with escaped murderers Richard Matt and David Sweat. Sources say in just the past year, prison officials looked into whether Mitchell, who supervises the prison's tailor shop, had that relationship with Sweat, but concluding there was not enough evidence to take action against her. Obviously, uh, she, uh, she was befriended or she befriended the inmates and may have had some sort of role in assisting them. Sources telling ABC News authorities want to know if Mitchell was supposed to drive a getaway car Friday night. If so, she never showed. We've learned she checked herself into a hospital complaining of a panic attack. ABC News also learning investigators are speaking with other prison employees. We're talking to people uh, who may have been involved and anyone who was involved that is then a crime unto itself. Experts say inmate and employee interactions can be complicated. Employees are warned not to share information that inmates could use as blackmail. From a safety and security standpoint, that's always something that's addressed from the very beginning is, is making sure that those boundaries are not crossed or compromised. Officials insist this is all something that will be seriously looked at once the two murderers are captured. Make sure you look to your right. Until then, they will keep searching every square inch of these deep, dense woods near the prison after bloodhounds picked up on the escapee's scent, helping them hone in on those killers. And back out here live, schools are closed this morning. Roads are still blocked off. Investigators are working with over 600 tips, more than 500 officers right here working day and night. Robert. Yep, they are. All right, Gio, thank you.